This is the TI-30X-2S calculator, and we're going to go ahead and find the mean and standard deviation for a set of data. Now, as you can see, my calculator is off, so the first thing I need to do is turn it on. Now, when I turn this calculator on, you notice it only says DEG. I need it in statistics mode. If yours is already in statistics mode, you should be okay. The way that we get the calculator into statistics mode is I hit, nope, not stat var, clear. I'm sorry, I need to hit, see how it says stat in purple? I need to hit second and data. And now I can choose one variable, two variables, or some other forms of statistics. I just want one variable. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And now I see the stat um, notation at the bottom of the screen. So I know I'm in statistics mode. I'm ready to enter some data. So I can go ahead and hit the data button. And I'm lucky because this says x1, meaning it's ready for the first number. But what if there was already a set of data stored in that list? Then what you would need to do is clear the list. The way that you clear the list is you would hit second and data, which was the stat button. And we've seen this screen before. But if I arrow over to where it says clear data and then hit the enter button, I've now cleared whatever old numbers were in the list and I would then be ready to enter data. So let's go ahead and hit data. I'm ready to enter my first number, which let's go ahead and use seven. Um, you'll notice that I've got some up, down arrow options. So even if I hit enter, after I hit the seven, I can see the seven there. But now when I go to hit the next number, like 10, oops, I'm back in X1 again. So the problem is it didn't store that number where I wanted it. So I'm gonna clear that out. I'm gonna hit the seven. And instead of hitting arrow, I'm sorry, hitting enter, I'm gonna hit the down arrow. So now that number's stored. And the question is, what was the frequency of seven? Did it show up more than once in your list? In my case, it's only gonna show up once. So I'm gonna hit down again. And now I'm ready for the second data entry. Let's go ahead and hit a 10. And for me, I just get in the habit of going down, down, ready for the next number. So like if my next number is 15, when I hit down, if 15 showed up three times, I could enter the three here and that would save me from entering the 15 the next two times. Although personally, I kind of forget and I just do frequency of one every time, but probably loses some time. My fourth number is 18 and it does only show up once in my list, but I want the cursor blinking at X5, waiting for the fifth number, so I know for sure all parts of that fourth number were stored. So now I'm ready to do some calculations. So you'll notice Third row, second from the right, it says stat var. But it's in white, that's fine. I'm gonna hit stat var, and I have a series of options to choose from at the top. The N is underline, and I see a four, because N is the size of your data, and I had four numbers in my data. I'm going to arrow once over and have the X bar, which now it just looks like it's in bars, but the X bar is underlined, and that is my sample average. 12.5. Remember X bar, the symbol for sample average, is calculated with the same formula as mu, the symbol for the population average. So both the sample and population average are 15 point, sorry, 12.5. I arrow over once to get S, and that's supposed to be a subscript of X, to mean the sample standard deviation. The sample standard deviation is 4.932, et cetera. Now, if you want the sample variance, you'll notice that no matter how far you scroll over, we're never gonna find that. So what you can do is leave the sample standard deviation underlined and see it on your screen. Go ahead and hit the X squared button on your calculator, and you'll can see that we're ready to square that value. And the sample variance is 24.33333. But what if that wasn't sample data you were using? What if that was population data? Then those four numbers give you, hitting stat var again, give you population information also. As I scroll over to the last option I see here, sigma sub x, sigma with a subscript of x, 4.272, et cetera. This number was smaller than the sample 
standard deviation because the population standard deviation will always be smaller. Um, I can go ahead and find the variance the same way that I can leave that highlighted, hit X squared, see that I'm for sure getting the piece I want, hit the enter or equals button, and the population variance is 18.25. And that is how we're going to be using the TI30X2S.